up, nerds? Hello, hello. Welcome back. So sorry, I'm so heckin' late. Uh, job. Job is thing. You okay? Yeah, I just, I was at work. Um, they kept saying, oh yeah, we're done. No, wait, let's get one more thing. Actually, uh, one more question. Um, actually, we want this angle for the shot. It was so dumb. We did not need to stay that long. But it's all good, because I'm here now to continue my epic adventure of saving our delightfully British mother! And not thinking about the Vore episode last week. Anyways... <laughs> what do you mean, had a good reason? You're not my mother! I don't have to explain to you why I'm coming at home at like 2 a.m. Dude! So anyways, uh, last week, uh, we got, we went straight from, uh... We, from beach episode to shipwreck episode, and we have visited the uh, the the home of the fairies, which is where uh, Mama Fairy is from. She's a big she's a big girl, real big girl. Um, well, um, I decided between streams I was gonna grind a little bit more just to have that extra edge next time we have to fight Shidar, the the evil guy. But uh, I remembered I can't do any side quests. We're still technically shipwrecked. So I killed all of the local population monsters, but they keep coming back. And now they're all bitch ass hoes. Because they run away. Anyways, let's continue the story, shall we? Captain Sinba! Oliver, thank goodness. Tell me that you at least found somewhere to shelter at night. We sure did. And we brought a ton of food, too. No, we didn't. There's a little village on the island, and. A village, you say? And food also? Hmm. I am pleased to learn this, and you will be pleased to learn that my men have completed their repairs for the ship. And that's why you use nukes on them? No, I mean, not quite. Hello, hi, welcome to stream. She's ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give the order? Yes! I want to get off this dumb island. Uh, yes, yes please. Hmm, you are troubled, I feel. Have you left something behind in the forest? No, definitely not an adorable little mascot who has a counter at the bottom of the screen no no we're, we're ready to go very well we sail yeah just like that we left him behind all is well with the world <laughs> mm. fuck I thought the next thing was a, uh, a voice cutscene, so I took a bite of my ice cream bar. Shit! How many episodes have you been stuck on this island? Uh, half of last episode. What are you eating? Ice cream. <laughs> I've had a day, okay? This island is such a nightmare. It is, and we're done with it, so it's fine. We did the right thing, didn't we? Of course! Family is the most important thing there is. We all know that. That's why I left my father behind? Besides, he's no spring chicken. It's probably about time he settled down. And you've still got us, Oliver. The three of us can do this if we work together. Oh, I guess so. Oh, oi! Hmm? D did you hear that? Huh? Here's the voiceover clip. <laughs> Are you forgetting someone? <laughs> Flavor? It's called triple chocolate. It's got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate chips, fudge stripes, and uh, brownie bits. It should be called death by chocolate, but that is besides the point. Jesus, Jesus, Trippy Christ. <laughs> <sighs> Phew, I'm pooped, man. You trying to leave without me or something? But, Trippy, we, we thought you wanted to stay back there in the fairy grounds. Who told you that, man? No way exactly. I want names, dates, times. I want receipts. We just thought, oh, your friends are back there. Of course they are, man. They're very dear to me, even the stupid ones. But you and me have been a team now since you were Lily, and I'm just a doll, in the early boy. I've been by your side through thick and thin. Remember what you said? You said I was your friend. 
You lot are all my friends, my companions, my brothers and sisters, my family. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. Shut it, you. What I mean is, you all stuck with me whether you like it or not, so get in your thick skulls, will ya? Yes, sir, Mr. Drippy. Hm, you're only really trying to be nice after we heard what you said to your friends yesterday. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? I get it. You don't think I'm pulling my weight, is it? Fine, I'm going to start using a little trick I know that'll blow your tiny minds. Tidy Tears. The weirdest ability I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Anyway, it looks like the gang's all here. Shall we get back to what we we're supposed to be doing? What do you say to Hamlin and the Great Sage? Atomnia, here we come. Let's go. Drippy has joined you again. Pray he doesn't leave. Ever again. Your voiceovers are on point? Thank you all. I mean, I am a voice actor. Did I forget to say that? I'm a voice actor. The fairy who couldn't stop crying. Aw, oh, it's me. The Wait, did he say tiny? Storm. Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, Lord Radiance. But, boy, he has a unique power. A really weird fairy following him. I got or freaked perhaps out. You simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps. Apis. Forgive me, Your Radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magic. What is it, Harry Potter? Could it be? Could it be? Love! I had wondered, Your Radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But you gotta be quicker than that. Than the, sage's aid the queen is such a look. I fucking love her. He look cannot at her. succeed without the weapon of the ancients, the wand wrought by the wizard king. The wizard king. Monster. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Oh. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of power tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. It's impossible to get it Mornstar. back. Only an anime protagonist could get it back. Fashion um, Shadar? Literally. Literally, where are you right now? Not now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it. Not now, nor for all eternity. Oh, uh, okay. Why? Monster. Oh, Eagle! Take note, guys. Eagle guy heard that. Take note. There's about to be machinations and political plays. Remember that. Shadar's logic is because Ollie is an American boy, he can't be an anime protagonist. There were animes in America. Or animes from Japan set in. Right? Surely there are. Anyways. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Political bullwinkle, the best kind. Perfect. Game of Thrones, who? All I know is Nino Kuni. Happy spring and world frog day. Uh, is it frog day? Let's fucking go. Wait, why didn't you have your record something, frog? Why didn't you have Harris say something about it? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No, I didn't forget it. It just wasn't worth mentioning. The enemy has the upper hand. Oh no. Oh no, guys, they're beating me up. I'm real scared. Joke's on you. Cut loose! Kill them on the one blow! I said what I said. 
said, I have I have made it very clear my entire life, and, and by that I mean the last five years, when I first heard of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that it is shit. I don't like it. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is a horrible art style, and I get that it inspires a lot of people, and that's great. I ain't one of them there. One of them ain't me. It's ugly, it's stupid, and all of its women look like men. Like, I'm pretty sure, and this might be a hot take, I'm pretty sure the artist for JoJo, I think he's gay, because all the women also look like men. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay, I'm just saying. Anyways, welcome to the third country. Armenia. It's your birthday! Dude, happy birthday! Hey, just for you, I'm gonna give you a crisp high five. Already? There you go, just for you. No slacking, you lot. No slacking, dude. You're the lowest fucking level on this team. That was crispy. Only the crispiest of high fives are allowed in my chat. Oh wait. Before I get into combat again, I can I can I can evolve some guys. I want I I want to hold capturing guys and evolving guys for Stroyan. I want you to show I want to show you the abominations of which we are creating. Dill pickle pickle snap. Jojo is hella gay when you notice it. It's it's not a notice. Jojo is gay and in your face. All right, let's evolve some dudes. None of my guys, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, look at this guy. You remember this guy? I remember this guy. Do you remember this guy? I do. Look, he's wearing a slightly different hat. That means he's stronger now. Dude, I saw- Oh man, I didn't get to- So I was on set, so I couldn't open the video. But I saw that you were teasing the, the Cosmic Wonders album. I'm so excited! Okay, anyways. I'm, I'm super normal about it. Look, Shonky's ready to evolve. I wonder what he's gonna turn into. Oh! He got- He- Oh god, he's now be a bleach blonde. He watched Barbie once. Look what happens when you watch Barbie precisely one time. That. That could be you. Anyways. Also this guy. He's alright. He actually, um... He decided to move to LA. He got that massive tan and the bleach blonde hair, too. Look at him. He's stronger. You can tell. All right, can I can I control what tricks they know? That it is within my power. Uh, sea stars. That one's funny. Happy birthday! Hey guys, Ramona. Ramona mentioned she's just so mad because I ran. I literally got home, ran to my desk, got set up, and started streaming. She is not happy that I'm ignoring her. But you're just a little baby bitch, aren't you? Yeah, fuck you. She already tried to claw my eyes out. Oh, bitch. Uh, sea stars. Yeah, okay, cool. Tempted to redeem next stream for a JoJo joke. Don't you fucking dare. Do not. I'm, I will make Harris say the F word five times in a row for your next video. Don't think I won't? You wanna test that? I'm saving up for something else. You keep saying that. What do you mean you're saving? Choosing the next game is the second most expensive. Don't tell me you're saving for the other one. Don't tell me you're saving up for the other expensive thing. Odin character though, I know, but I never said which F word. 
did I? I'm going to make Harris, beloved pirate frog, a homophobe right before Pride Month. Think I won't? You're right, I wouldn't. <laughs> Tempting, but no, I wouldn't do that. I like Harris too much. I can't do my usual thing if I keep spending my points on it willy-nilly. Oh no, you're saving for a big Rickroll, aren't you? Fuck you! I need to take that away from you. Specifically, only you. Everybody else is allowed to. Stay calm now. Don't tell me what to do, kid. Here goes. Stay calm then! Shut up. You're five. What do you know? I'm in a spicy mood today. Which is really odd, because, listen. I love my job. Never, never get that twisted. Love my job. I had an awful day. I've had an awful last two days. I'm in a fantastic mood, though. Okay, but like, consider the following. You're the only one that consistently does the Rickroll. What? I healed my bitch. Uh, sure, let's be the girl. Swain, take care of him. You're the gunman. Doing one damage, dude. Get fucking good. And... Okay, no, he's not out. I was about to say, and he's out too! Great! We do... You know what? I don't think I ever bought him a new gun. You're absolutely right. I don't think I ever bought him a new gun. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't. There was, no, there was no gun on the fairy ground. Which is really weird. You'd think that fairies would invent heavy artillery, but you'd be wrong. <clears throat> when I get the funds, I want to get that next project recorded. It'll be so hype. Oh yeah? Which one's that? I'm still excited to see the one I recorded for. <clears throat> which I'm not going to go into any further detail so I don't spoil it. But like, I am so excited for that to come out. Hey, dumb pig, don't even think about it. Oh wait, I have one health. Fuck, why'd I do that? Come on! You got boss to read for you? you ah! I'm making connections! People are connecting! Ugh, <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I might not have done much in the world, but I connected creative people together. And that's something. That sure is something. Bobbin, screw him up. Fuck him up. Okay, whenever I say fuck him up, I mean kill them. Do the thing. Thank you. We won. I am super cool. Only oh, thank you. Sometimes I don't feel super cool, but you know what? That's just sometimes how the brain works. The dumb monkey brain just takes over sometimes. You know how it is. Okay. I probably don't need this, but I'm gonna eat a sandwich real quick. Just me, though. As the main character, I feel like it's my right to be the only one that gets to eat sandwiches. Oh. For a second there, I thought Mr. Drippy was another monster. I was like, no, 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 no. No, it's just Mr. Drippy. It's just, it's just Mr. Drippy. So, um, I know the place is called Hamlin, but uh, what do, what do you think this uh, what do you think this next country's theme is? We've had cats and we've had cows. Now what? It's a total mystery. I got nothing. <clears throat> Beef. You're right. Oh, I never answered you earlier. Tidy Tears does not count because t he didn't say it. Capitalism. I mean, that's always the biggest villain, ain't it? Crikey, this place is flipping massive. Me you know, there are machines everywhere. Careful, Oliver. Your eyes are going to pop out of your head if you're not careful. N no, they're not. I was just saying. <laughs> anyway, never mind the machines. Look over there. Roddy Nora, what the heck is he wearing? He 
kind of looks like a pig. Porco Russo confirmed! No, I wish it was that cool. Jeepers, take a look around. They're all dressed like pigs. Damn it. What the hell is he playing at? Huh? It's just me or Swain behaving a little strangely together today. Do you think so? Well, he might be, I guess. Right. You'll have fun looking around. I'm off. Oh, okay. Bye, rat bastard. Huh? Wait! Swain! Jeez, what's with him? It's Mother 3. I haven't played that game. Why do you run off like that? Hm. I suppose he wants to be alone. Honestly, he just does whatever he pleases. Ah, leave it to him, man. We'll have more fun without him. The, stro the stroppy so-and-so. Yup, that's a word. That is technically a combination of words. Hey, you, you got a piece of heart, gimme. He needs restraint. Boy, howdy, do I? Oh, he has restraint, gimme. That's not a pig soldier. He's wearing green. That's how you know he is nice. No, you don't. One second. Fine! You know better than that. She thinks just because I'm streaming, I can't hear her. Goodness. Yeah, you know what you did. No, don't try to look cute now. She's really good about not clawing at furniture, but she started realizing that she likes to put her claws into uh, my mattress. Little bitch. Uh, what do I need? I need... No, I have a good amount of coffee. I need, I need more cheeseburgers! No, I don't. They're too expensive. That's probably fine. Ah, yes, my favorite. Pig portrait. Your gaming chair now. Um, like uh, she has clawing furniture. Like I got her furniture specifically for her to claw. It, it's scratching posts. I, I gave her scratching posts. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but no. Apparently that's not good enough for her. She has to go for my fucking mattress. Oh yeah, you have an orange tattoo. You have no excuse. You should have known what you were getting into. Uh. I got a torty. You'd think she would just be like CSC and that's it. Because that's what she's supposed to be. Man, I was a dog person, but my line of work won't let me have a dog. It's been confirmed a million times over that uh, orange tabbies only have one brain cell. That's why I think I'm half orange tabby. Because I swear, half the time, that's all I got. A singular brain cell. And I devoted it towards gaming, of all things. And it, it's not even a good brain cell to use for gaming. Oh, uh -huh. better weapons, you say? I think I will. I don't have enough money. No, I won't. <laughs> what can I sell? I want the thing. I want the good sword for Bobbin so he can bop him real good. I don't think I'm asking for much here. Why are these store menus so slow? Who's my gosh dang mind over here? There we go, that should be enough. No, it's not. Fuck. Now that's enough. I do get mice from fights, but I just spent a bunch of money on, um, you know, supplies to make it this far. 
It's fine. Yeah. More grinding off screen soon. Also, we're about to go into a dungeon. I'm about to get a bunch of money. I just wanted to be ready. Copple Coppolism. I hate it. Sable! After all the grinding off stream. I spent a bunch of money on food. Like one second. Look at this. Look at this. Five sandwiches. Six fish burgers. A bunch of these. A bunch of the coffees. I bought two more revives. Food consumed. Delightfully British mother has been saved. Almost. Not quite, but almost. So technically speaking, we have gained um, just about everybody you get on your team. Uh, we just got to, uh, you know, get save this kingdom and one more. Also, cutscene! Steampunk and pigs. It's the Ghibli way. I wish I could be this extra. Not only do I get the people to move out of the way, I move the entire city out of my way. Look at that. They adore me. I wish I could be that extra. And you know, the best parade ever. They sit still, not moving, and looking vaguely threatening. Seems that way. This is down with you. <laughs> it's true. Welcome to Hog Heaven. Oh! Look who decided to show up! Yeah, but being extra just so much energy sometimes, you know? It's the car that's charging so high. Yeah, you right. Swain, you can be such a, a pain. Where did you run off to? I had some business to take care of. A little bird told me something that might interest you. Huh? You mean, yep, it's about the great stage you're also eager to find. Tiny, tiny, I didn't have the counter ready. One second! Everybody hold still! Don't breathe! I'm getting it! Boom. Okay, calm down. Well, come on then. Where is he? Don't give us the suspense fun. Ah, well, uh, that's the thing. Uh, he's in the palace. The palace? You see, every one of you is forced to wear a pig mask? Well, they say there's this fellow who goes around without one. Apparently, he calls himself the prince's servant. There's more. They say he's a young chap with long hair and fine features. Wait, that sounds like the boy in the picture we got from the Khalifa. Got it in one. Goodness, and I was thinking you were completely useless. Well, that's harsh. Duh. Doesn't mince her words, does she? But how'd you find out about this, Swain? Oh, it's just something I overheard while I was wandering through the black market. The black mar market? Blah, blah. The black mark? Blah. Who is this, Pirates of the Caribbean? The black market, you certainly seem to know your way around this city, Swain. Me? No, no, never been here before in my life. I have a good note for Lee's is all. You get a face like this unless you've lived a little. Let's just say I know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> so he serves the... Uh, Oliver! The Britishness is contagious! So he serves the prince, huh? He must be real important. I prayed with something else. Pah. Now, nah, talking about that porky pr prince fellow, the thing is, it doesn't matter. The city's gonna move again? Flippin' heck, with all the racket, I almost jumped out of my fairy suit. Your fairy suit? Wait, is the green part of Drippy not his skin? Ugh. Do you think he got swooned by uh, capigalism? Probably. Swain had to run in with the swine? Eee, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's a cop now, a real pig. Ah, oh, shit. Loving all the pig puns today, guys. What's going on? The Ministry of Conduct announces a new emergency decree from the prince. Let it hereby be known that Article 2904 of the Constitution forbids passerby from making eye contact. Anyone violating this law will be liable for a fine of 5,000 guilders or three years imprisonment. 
All hail the prince. Flippin' eye contact? God loves that. I've never heard anything like it. Just where is, what's going on here? This is insane. How could he? Oi, you wanna find the great sage, don't you? Well, hurry up and head to the palace. You're right, let's go. And just like that, he's back at the party. You know, I was really starting to panic there. I was really starting to panic, but it's okay, he's back. Give me part of your heart. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give He's got enthusiasm. Oh, I do too. I want more. This one's really got my bacon. Boo. All these American jeans are getting taken over by his delightfully British jeans. Oh no. By the end of the game, he's gonna be full on Brit. And I don't know how to feel about that, actually. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to entertain that joke anymore. Hi, pig man. Let me in. You're just going to let me through, right? You're just going to let me through, right? I can fit. Red Rover, Red Rover. Just let Oliver go through. Yeah? No? All right. What do you want? Guys, don't get it quit twisted. They're not the, the swine. They're boriers. Obviously, I'm embarrassed for you. Especially you, Sable. You should have seen this coming. You lord travelers, I take it. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamlin to meet one of the great sages, and we think he's inside the palace. Is that so? I suppose you'd like me to let you win so you can have a look for him, am I right? Ha! A great sage indeed. Good one, boy. Uh huh? You're obviously not listening to your emergency decrees. No one's been allowed anywhere near the palace for ages. <laughs> These travelers, huh? Never get to have a clue, do they? Um, excuse me? At least we have some manners. I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned and is regrettably quick to anger. We beg your pardon. S Swain, what on earth are you? Shh, I've got an idea. An idea? Well, that's a first. What is it then? Got a way to get us in the palace, have you? Boring? You're boring! She'll fuck up. Sniper swines? Hey, don't jinx it. Because this next part's not gonna be fun. Yes, and it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Keep your voice down, man. Haven't you noticed? The gods' faces can't be seen under the armor they're wearing. What? You're saying we're gonna have to wear those awful pig suits? But where would we get them, Swain? We're not gonna have to steal it, are we? I down, Mon, seriously. All right, everyone, just stay calm. I told you about the black market they have in Hamlin, right? Well, they probably have some pig armor for us there. We'll have to go and get it. Really? Crikey, let's go, the answers, huh? <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't have always been this. this. Useful! So, you know how a lot of people have joked that it should be Oliver and Esther as like a cute ship? Um, this kingdom specifically is the reason why I think it's really cute. The age difference is very problematic. I fully agree. But if Esther was a little older, her and Swain would be really funny together. I'm just gonna say that. Swain's name is one extra uh, extra letter. Yeah, he puts the A in Swain. The A in Swine, as it were. Is he just Steve Irwin? I have no idea where you got that idea, dude. Oh, Mr. Guardman, do you need some enthusiasm? Oh no, you have too much enthusiasm. Well, I, I don't have, oh you. Oh, I already have restraint. Yeah, okay, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it anymore! Runs away. What, this person? Hey! I'm gonna Kingdom Hearts you. Oh, you have kindness, do ya? I already have kindness. 
I'm really good at finding the people that need, like, have the heart, but I keep forgetting to find the people who need it. Crikey? Nah, he's Welsh, man. Steve Irwin was Australian? New Zealander? I don't know. I don't know things, man. I'm just a little guy who likes to play video games on Wednesday night. And other times sometimes. Like Tears of the Kingdom. That's still a thing I'm doing. I beat the Zora area. The Water Temple can huff my shorts and choke. Just gotta throw that out there. It sucks. Ooh, I should heal. I should stay the night at the end and heal. I have not gotten to Terrytown, no. <clears throat> but I have dedicated myself to um 140 fuck no baby. Um I've dedicated myself, now that I've accidentally bum-rushed, uh, three of the temples together, uh, I've decided that I'm going to actually explore and enjoy myself, or try to, at least. Where the heck am I going? No, come back. Oh, I was close. Ish. Um, I've gotten a bunch of the memories. Uh, I'm a little miffed, specifically, because, um, I, I'm a little upset that all of the, the champions, or champion equivalents, um, all of them have the exact same memory. They're not unique like the original champions, and they're just boring in comparison. Oh, 45, great, thank you. Normally this is as far as I let an outsider get, but that fellow your wish shared some rather juicy gossip with me, so, in exchange for which, I'm going to turn a blind eye. In you go. Thank you. Sages, whatever. I don't like them. They don't deserve rights. I'm, gonna, I'm still calling them lesser champions. You need kindness? Boy, howdy, don't I got some? Hold still, sir. It's only pinch for a second. I'm gonna. I'm letting you know I'm 90% of the way there. What do you mean? 90% to what? You keep saying that you're saving up for something. What do you mean? What do you mean you're saving up? Dude, give me some answers. Are you gonna dictate my next game? Are you gonna make me play Jump King again? I beg of you to reconsider. Demon King, Secret Stone, old by the second time. It is! And that's why they don't deserve any rights. So, you remember the, the black market? This is it. This is the entirety of the black market, right here. I can't open that yet. Hey, you. Powdered oak corn, fresh black truffles. There's nothing old able who ain't able to get. What'll it be today? <laughs> you haven't had a change to bed, have ya? Hmm? Have I met you somewhere before? Uh, d no. Now then, let's get down to business. To defeat Hamlin! I need some grunt armor. Four suits. Can you help me out? I need grunt armor. I don't handle gear like that, sir. But if I did, what would you need it for? You don't need to worry about that. Let's just say the place we need to go has what you might call a uh, strict dress code. Is that a fact? Well, even if I was in the armor business, gear like that ain't easy to get a hold of. You'll just have to look elsewhere, sir. I see. Well, I'd hoped I wouldn't have to mention this. But I know about Grace. I know you love her, and that you try to hide her. Don't say another word. Where did you hear that word? That name? <laughs> you know how it goes. Spend long enough in the gutter, and you're bound to pick up some dirt. Alright. I'll get you your armor. I'll get it for you right away. Just wait a moment. Huh? Did you... Was that a threat? Maybe. 
And the end just but the end justifies the means, right? We need that armor. That's terrible! That isn't right! We can't take advantage of people like this! Yes, yes, alright! I did a terrible thing. You're right, I'm sorry. There, I apologize. Still looking at me like that. It won't happen again, alright? What a rad bastard. Did you promise? Well, I promise to try my best. <laughs> you can't me make a civil promise! What kind of man are you? Like, right? If she was slightly older, I'd ship that, like, really hard, right? I'm not crazy, right? Here's your armor. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you gonna put it on straight away? Yeah, if you don't mind. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Mr. Abel. Now look, I don't know what you're up to, but be careful, alright? Oh, and nice one, by the way. What? Your friend. I take my off my hat off to him. Only a real pro could have worked out my little secret. Funny, really. Before he mentioned it, I had him down as a right joker. But he awfully obviously knows what he's doing, eh? <laughs> so it wasn't a threat. Swain, look. Come on, let's get changed. Rat bastard has a secret past. Uh. Also, look. We're the police now. And also a disconnected head. Look, Swain, I'm sorry what I, about what I said earlier. I, I just... It's fine. Now, how's my armor? How's your armor feel? Uh, I guess mine's a little big. Mine too. I bet they look huge. No, no, you look just like you usually do. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Come on, guys, let's stop fighting and head for the palace. You're right. You're right, Oliver. Let's find that great sage. So, how kind of the game to color code them for us. Blue for boy Oliver, pink for girl Esther, and green for red bastard. Mythical! What's up, dude? I just... Who does he think he's fooling? Also, I love her ran run animation. It's so clunky now. <laughs> Give more RPGs the asshole party member? For real! I need more assholes in my RPGs. I need the I need the rough and tumble assholes with a heart of gold. I need all of them in my life. All of them. I wish they would show them play. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Um... 100% agree. Jumping back to talking about Tears, Tears of the Kingdom is that um, the champion's memories worked so well simply oh, I'm going the wrong way simply because they gave a story and they made the characters really endearing. We got to see bits about them uh, through subtlety and very not subtle ways. Uh, and they also gave us more insight into Zelda which kind of propelled our mission to go save her. Um, this game, it's just generic body type of the race wearing a mask that kind of looks like the Divine Beasts. And then they show us the same cutscene. I'm sick and tired of it. Though I will say, I'm very interested on, on the, 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 the scholarly one. That's the si oh wait, I need kindness. Hey, you! Fellow pig man, give me your heart. Go on a date with me. No. I lied. Give, give me your heart now. I'm ready for it. Switching between streams. No, prioritize me. No, I'm totally kidding. Do what you want to do. Choose the kingdom, Karak space program with other quests. Uh... Rock space program with other quests you can do. What? I mean, Zelda interacts with the sages of past time a little bit. Um. I mean, in a couple of the cutscenes, she well, in mo all of the cutscenes in the memories so far, um, have been her interacting with them. She's been interacting with. Uh, Raru and Mother Sonia, who I'm in love with, 
and also the scientist lady. Have you been have you been doing the have you, have you been doing the, the the tier memory things? We I shall give you the S of courage. Apparently that was another thing the translation fucked up. Like in the Japanese version, the ancient Guru Sage says more on Ganondorf's past. Of course they did. But don't tell me what they said because I haven't gotten to that yet. Appar apparently the the Garuda one is kind of hard if you're not like stacked. So I'm going to explore and collect because like I have been surviving on a, a hope and a prayer food wise. It's been really hard is what I'm trying to say. Let me in, fellow pigman. Hey, what are you uh, doing out here? Sir, we were, sent, we were sent out to fetch something, sir. Did we send someone out? Oh, oh underwear, he made a potch of it already. Ah, uh, you went to pick up the prince's weekly supply, did you? Never gets tired of those things. All right. All right for some air? Ever tried one? Oh my goodness, did you say no, Swain? Yes, sir. Just one, sir. Black truffles are a bit of an expensive side, sir. You're all wrong there. You need to be a prince before that habit. Well, then you better hurry and deliver them. In you go. Black truffles? In this economy? Nah. You know, we're in. Say that a little louder and get caught, dumbass. You really know your stuff, Slane. Did you use your work? Did you used to work here or something? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Why are you so interested in my past, anyways? I'm not the least bit interested in your past. I'm just making conversation. Crikey, that's holding. Now listen, we've done well to get this far, but if the cards find us now, we're in big trouble. Don't do yourself, don't do yourself down, man. From what I've seen, you can sweet talk us past anything. I don't think my silver tongue is going to get us any further. From here on in, they'll attack first and ask questions later. What? So, so we... Just give up? No, we can't give up. We made it this far. We have to keep going. Let's make sure that we just don't get caught. All right, Oliver, but listen. If a guard spots you, just uh, just start running as fast as you can. Hmm. It ain't much of a plan, but it'll do. Oh my gosh, Swain was once a pig. All right, this is tutorial time. So, uh, it's everybody's favorite. It's a stealth mission. Do not notice me. Do not notice me. Do not notice me. Do not notice me. I'm not here. I'm a part of the wall. Good boy. Anyways. There were a couple times that I didn't realize I was supposed to hide, like, against that wall specifically. I just went into the little crevice. He spotted me and charged so fucking fast I screamed. Notice me, pig senpai? No, 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 no. You misunderstand. That is the opposite of what we want, in fact. Okay. Oh, I need to get into that crevice. I think. No. No, that's a trap. That's a trap crevice. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, here he comes. Hold on, hold on. This guy got a pass through. Hey, Trippy, check yourself. And then he goes around the corner. And then... No, that's literally the last place I need to be going right now. Ah! Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. Don't notice me. I'm not here. Guys coming shit okay 
I hate stealth missions. Yes, I do. I hate stealth. How about you? Yeah, I legitimately don't remember how to get past this guy. Oh, I have to go the other way. I have to go the other way, don't I? I'm such a goober. I'm just gonna follow this guy. Go down here. Cannot make that. Never mind. I hate stealth missions. I'm so bad at them. I'm okay with stealth missions. I'm horrible at them. I do so much gosh dang backtracking. Thank God this guy has like, he's deaf. There's no other explanation. He is deaf. Splinter Cell, is that a stealth game? All right, adding that to my never play because I suck at this. At least I don't spin around randomly. Yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> and then he is over there, so he can't catch me. Ha! I'm done! You fool! It's a dead end! All of that was for nothing! Oh, underwear, it's a dead end. Hey, look! Flippin' Hackmon, stop shouting! Oh? It's time to go Ninja Turtles on this ass. But look, it's a manhole! What do you mean it's a manhole? A hole in the floor is just about as much use as a blinking. Wait, if we go through here, I think we'll come out somewhere around there. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? It certainly is. Hang about, are you telling me we really have to go down there? Yeah. All right, in we go. Um, this armor's too big to fit inside. Well then, let's take it off. Take it off? You take off your disguise at a time like this, man. I'm keeping mine on. This place isn't a problem for me. Yeah, yeah, Drippy. <laughs> we know. Disguise? Drippy, you're just wearing a helmet. That's right I am. I'm the only one that's got half a chance of not getting caught. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, shall I? Don't tell me. You've learned to do a Hamling accent. Now you sucky what so and so. It's because this helmet here is the best disguise of all. Every time I hear a car coming, I just tuck in my arms and legs, isn't it? The cars will see a helmet lying on the ground and continue on the merry way, blending in with the environment, isn't it? Tidy! Blending in? Like, look, they blend in with their environment, too. Wow, let's let's just get a science lesson in the middle of a stealth mission. Sure, why not? No, man, it's completely different. Uh, sure. So, anyways, it looks like this manhole is our only option, huh? Unless Drippy, Drippy can find us some giant helmets to wear, yes. Let's just go down there, shall we? Three more ties until the funny one. Who's ready? Not me. Look at this place. It's amazing. Isn't it neat? Yeah, it sure is something. So, this is how the other half live, is it? Proper swanky, this is. Oi, hmm? it's this way. How do you know that? Come on, get a move on! Okay, are you sure about this? Ah! What the? Ah! What else? Giant pink tank! <laughs> what else would it be? Never a minute's rest with you lot, is it? It's probably fine, right? Ah! Porco Grosso. Is that Porco Russo uh, mention? You bet your ass it is. Alright, let's go kick its ass. It's probably fine, right? Poco Robo. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get back to Oliver. Get some provisions up in this. Hey! I'm healing my friends! Stop it! Hey, I am dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. 
All right, good, good job. You're, you technically did something, Swain. Thank you. The tank's going hog wild. Let's go. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Swain's almost dead. Oh, Swain is almost dead. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Good. Okay. Then we bring back Best Boy, aka Bobbin. Swain, do not die. I'll kill you if you die. Hogtillery? Good lord, you guys. Oliver, stop almost dying at every time I turn my- Oliver! He's making me waste my damn provisions. Defend yourselves! Stop dying! There we go. Okay. And then one last provision for her. Let's get her some iced coffee. Because she's the healer of the group. Alright, back off. You know, hey, Mr. Drippy, some tidy tears would be lovely right now. I'm hanging on by a fucking thread. Did I not grind enough off screen? I thought I did. A tower topper? What the hell is a tower topper? Anyways, Tears of the Kingdom, right? Like, right? I had high hopes that everybody was like, oh, it's such a good game. I had high hopes. And it's been nothing but mean and bullying and also just... Uh... Oh, I missed! But I'm, I'm the main character. I'm not supposed to miss. Oh, it does it just, just, oh gosh, okay. I feel silly. Let's do the try and true. Fireball! Okay, I'm good. Stop targeting me. Oh my gosh, RoboPig, why are you so obsessed with me? Golden drop, golden drop, golden drop, golden drop, golden drop. Hey, Bobbing, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Golden drop, golden drop. Tidy, no. I forgot Mr. Drippy couldn't pick it up. I got so scared that we were gonna have to deal with him. <laughs> Listen, I understand that there's no eye in team. But there are six eyes, and I don't care how big the room is, I cast Fireball. And I stand by what I said. And of course, Wayne is dead on the floor and I can't do shit about it. The majority of the fun comes with the fusion and building stuff and also exploring the depths. Oh great, all the things I hate about the game. So glad I spent $70 on it. What does this do? Oh, healing. Will you bring Swain back? Please? Please? No, he's not in the corner. Damn it. All right. I did it. All right, technically that did damage. Technically speaking. Mario honestly and Pikmin 4 are close, but 2 Pikmin made me feel something I haven't felt in you. See, that's the thing! I am... I want to like the game. And enough that it actually is making me see it in a more positive light. But it's also not enough for me to actually feel like I'm actually legitimately enjoying the game like I did with Breath of the Wild. 
Breath of the Wild, it was fun and interesting to be creative and, like, get in there and explore. It's not fun to explore this world. This world is mean. Take it from me, man. You'll never get put a dent in that mechanical monstrosity unless you put a use magic or one of your familiar tricks. The spot of the storm magic will do nicely. These mechanical types ain't fun to lightning seed. Cool. Um, I don't have electrical type moves. Um, Esther, help? Dark Souls is not fun. Ah, Tiny Tears. There we go. Look at this. The weirdest special move you have ever seen. He raises his nose to the sky and makes it rain. Is it tears? Is it snot? It might be snot. That's gross. Tell a cool fact. Boy, howdy, I'd love to. Um. Oh. Oh. This is actually a weird fact, but it is a cool fact. I'll give you a, an actual cool fact later, once I can actually look at my list of cool facts. So, um, right now, fun fact, uh, this isn't the fun fact, but this is also a fun fact. Um, I am currently working on a super neat true crime documentary. Um, and turns out there are two serial killers out in the world named Juan Chavez. One located in Dallas, where I am, and the other is is in LA. That's a, that's a, okay, and Esther is down. Great. I might have to go out and grind. I hate grinding on stream, but I might have to. Look, is that, oh. Let's have all of do it. Let's have a burning heart. Does that count as a tidy, no. That's not a dialogue. That's where my uncle went. Oh, so it's always good to know there's a serial killer in your area. I mean, I live in a major metropolitan area. Like, a major ne uh, metroplex. Like, major metroplex. I almost guarantee there's multiple. Hey, dude, asshole. Stop it. And there we go. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go probably... We're gonna have to go grind. My favorite. DFW is one of the biggest population clumps. It is! Uh, which is wild because Juan Chavez is not who the true crime po documentary is about. It is not even who th the thing is about. No. No. I'm going outside. You can't make me fight that thing again. Uh, the actual documentary. Oh, hi! Well, you just made my, my life easier. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, apparently it's about this other person who targeted old people to rob them, which is just great. Uh, and among a, a many other things. But that's kind of a downer. I don't want to talk about that. I literally had to hear about it all day. But there was a really cool moment that I got to have an insane bonding moment with this old lady. Who, uh, both of us, she and I, have tattoos on our left wrists. And we just sat there and bonded about it. She was like, I'm, I see you have a tattoo on your left wrist as well. I'll tell you about mine if you tell me about yours. I was like, bet. And we sat down, and you know what? I'm ready to go to war for her, little Miss Linda. I would go to war for her. And then she brought her friend in, Doris. Doris was delightful. I'll go to war for both of them. What yours look like? It looked like a dragon. I mean, what else? What is it gonna be? Yeah. I mean, what? Literally, what else was it going to be? Let's go out of the boar jaws. Why not? Yeah, of course my tattoo looks like a dragon. What else do you think it was gonna be? Do you think we'll get another game like Legends Arceus? Yeah, it's called Pokemon Zeta. It's literally been announced. Aw, Shadow Glass. I'm pretty sure that's just called Obsidian. No need to be edgy about it. 
Oh, bro, where you been? Somebody, somebody send some links. JJR, you're here. Send him some link. Educate this man. Let's do it. Here goes. Educate this man. Oh, you didn't know? Yes. I mean, honestly, um, if I wasn't forever on social media, I, I probably wouldn't have known about it. Except for, yes, I was, because my chat is just, they are so damn motivated to get me fully invested in any and all video game news. All of the time. Every time there's a, any kind of announcement about video games, they are in chat screaming about it. All of the time. All of the time. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just y'all keep me very well informed about the nature of video games in the world. Very well informed. Here we go. Here goes. An electric type familiar. Yeah, I probably should. Oh wait, at the island there was an airhead. Those guys are great. Fuck, why didn't I catch one? Why didn't y'all tell me to catch one? It's obviously your fault. I mean, honestly, I was just gonna beat up on a bunch of guys until I got to a quote-unquote good level. But you know what? Catching an electric familiar is a pretty good plan. I also just wish I could buy a new gun for a fucking rat bastard, but I can't. My bad. JJ, you've been on my case tonight. What's up, dude? What's going on? Wait, what? Holy shit. I have a normal call time tomorrow. Let's go. Oh, thank God. I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There might be a God, now I believe it. <laughs> God, that sounds so sacrilegious. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant. Here goes nothing. Here goes. No! Shut the fuck up. But anyways, um, Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah, I beat the, the Zora's Domain. I had to watch my my fish husband get married to his fish wife. Frustrating, upsetting to be sure. But I also understand that he has a duty to his people. But I'm ready to accept my role as the prince consort. What can I say? It's a gift. And anyways, I'm also a little disappointed that Sidon was not in fact on my ring finger like I hoped he would be. So every, every sage gets a, a, a ring on my finger, and I have a ring finger, and it does not belong to Sidon for some reason. That makes me very sad. Did I hear about the Minecraft movie? Yeah, I heard about the Minecraft movie. Listen, I don't, like, listen. It's not that I, I remain ignorant by choice, but I'm not that ignorant. I also know Jack Black's in it. Like, I know I don't always talk in my server, but I do read everything. Except for the Pokecatcher. That's the one chat safe from my gaze. So you want to say something shitty, say it there so I don't see it. Kill the robot thing. It's ugly. We did it. You gave up on social media? Man, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I, I am addicted to the dopamine rush I get every time I get to make a role announcement for voice acting. Because people that I don't like have to save face and say congratulations to me. And you know what? I'm just enough pettiness. I have just enough pettiness in my deep, dark, black hole of a soul to find That's dopamine good. and enjoyment of that. They are not making a Sims movie. No, they are not. Shut up. No, they're not. No, they're not. What kind of storyline is there? 
literally they have okay actually honestly they have the best opportunity to make a creepypasta film where the world just keeps changing around them and it's just because they accidentally like the the world that's generated in the movie has a malicious god that just wants to delete all the swimming pool ladders that would be hilarious one of the directors of the barbie movie there's only one director of the barbie movie and it's greta gerwig who deserved an oscar just saying uh, I clearly have some feelings about it. But like, seriously, what in the world could a Sims movie be about? A Sims movie. A movie about characters that are literally blank slaves for you to play God with. No slacking you lot. In the world, do you make a Sims movie? That's kind of like the. Have y'all seen? They actually released a trailer recently uh, about Harold and the Purple Crayon. The kid, the, the whole premise of the entire series, it's this kid, right? And the kid has a purple crayon that makes like wacky stuff come to life. How do you make a movie out of that? How do you make an interesting live action movie about that? Answer: You don't. I just, I'm so ready for that movie to flop. Just cause like Hollywood, Hollywood just keeps fucking up, man. Hollywood needs to get their shit together. Watch it be a gimmicky VR movie? That would be funny. I mean, the movie can have a funny sex scene. No sex scene is funny. In fact, if movies got rid of sex scenes, I think I'd be okay. It's your question, they don't. Mm. Best game movie of recent memory was the Mario movie. The Mario movie was pretty good. It was solid. I mean, most video game movies aren't good to begin with. Because, like... With, like, Mario, there's so many different storylines that are really... Okay, I say a bunch of storylines, but all of the storylines are pretty simple. Peach is kidnapped, save her, in different textures and flavors. So, like, how do you make that interesting? You're right, make you rec rescue Luigi instead. You're absolutely right. What a fool I was. Let's just throw some fire at it. Great. It's on fire now. Eat it! Oh, you want to be my friend? No. Perish. Because, yeah, well, I was about to say, you know what video game would be a good, make a good movie adaptation? Oh, I don't know. And the first game that came to mind was Assassin's Creed. They tried that already. It didn't work. I watched the first 10 seconds of the trailer. That movie is going to going out of its way to be as bland as possible. Wait, which movie? Which movie? The Harold and the Purple Crayon? The Sims movie? Which one? Sable, answer me. Which one? Harold, I knew it. I watched the trailer without sound on because again, I was at work today. Mario movie did exactly what a Mario movie should do. Yeah, I just wish they didn't try to shove so much in there. I feel like the story suffered a little bit because of it. <clears throat> like there's a lot of stuff that's brought up being like, huh, oh, look at that. Game reference, you like that? Anyways, moving on. Like, what? No, what's the story significance? Why did, like, why did Peach pick up a, a fire flower? Does the show it work? What do you mean she just appeared one day? What do you mean? You're not curious? You don't want to ask questions about it? No, you're right. We don't have time. Move on. Uh, I read off Essie stream the Wikipedia list of planned video game movies. No. <laughs> Damn it. It's bad enough that Marvel's fucking up. I can't have more video game movies to be disappointed at. There's only so much disappointment my bones can handle. No slacking, you lot. He's supposed to have a moose and a porcupine friend. That's right. But they're, they're human. Ugh. Ugh, that's so boring. Why is Hollywood literally trash fire? Fire that is on trash. Why? 
Why is it so bad? Who made that decision? Who thought that that was okay? They should be fired. They should be sacked in the form of being hurled into a burlap sap and hurled out the window. Because late state capitalism says so. I know. I know, but that doesn't mean I like it. Like, I understand that it costs a lot of money to make movies, but have they ever considered? Make a good movie and more people will show up for it. And then you'll get the money back plus some. Like, profits should be the byproduct, not the main goal. But here we are, I guess. Here we go. I don't know. What stresses, like, what stresses me out, not to like vent or anything, but what really stresses me about in working in this industry that I do, which is TV production, uh, for those who don't know, most of y'all know, but um, what stresses me out is that like everybody in the industry agrees that Hollywood is like so bankrupt on ideas, we did it. to the point that a lot of people that I've met in this industry look down on me for not watching art house cinema and like going to film festivals to watch t truly unique things. Like, no, I understand the Hollywood is bankrupt. I'm just gonna go watch my old classics. I'm gonna go watch Young Frankenstein and Batman with Adam West, the best Batman. Like, ugh. I don't wanna go see art house cinema. That makes me think and, I'll, and oftentimes no offense, I love small time filmmakers. I love them. I love the creativity that they're, I can see the heart and soul that they have put into those films. Half of them make no sense. They've gone from being abstract to making no goddamn sense. Anyways, you can tell I have some feelings about it. It's fine. Common writer over on my guard film festival entries. See, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Like, th the classics are classics for a reason. Not because, like, they're cutting edge technology or because the, the one liners are real quippy and they're funny like that. No! There is heart and soul put it onto those pages, put it onto those performances. They are just so good! They are so good! Because people care. Modern day movies feel so heartless. They feel so gutted and forced and mandatory. They feel like school assemblies. There, I said it. They feel like fucking school assemblies. You remember those? The, the people that came in and like they're putting on performance saying, hey kids, don't do drugs. Or if you hear the smoke detector, tell an adult because something might be on fire. What they're doing is technically okay, but the way they're performing it is awful. You can tell they do not want to be there. And I don't want to be there either. I'm sitting on the ground. My butt has fallen asleep. That's what it feels like to go to the movie theaters these days. The best part about going to movie theaters these days is the popcorn. And you know what? You don't have to buy a movie ticket to do that. You can walk into a theater, buy popcorn, and leave. You know why I know that? Come on. I've done it. It's really fun. You should consider doing that. Having a bad day? Go to a movie theater, buy popcorn, go home and put on your favorite movie. It's so good. I don't care how overpriced it is. I do not care that I'm paying $11 for a popcorn covered in fucking spit and human skin cells. Because that, that hot oil has been cooking all day. I do not care. Movie popcorn fucking slaps. Anyways, thanks for coming to my TED talk. You can tell I've had some feelings about it. <laughs> Sorry, I just really had to get off that get that off my chest. All your thought-provoking symbolism will never be as impactful as strong as Hunch on! You're right. Listen, your symbolism will never be as powerful as the old-timey bad signal. You know the one that's clearly on a, a painted black wall to look like the night sky? Come on. And Robin just goes, holy mackerel, Batman! And then another quip about like what's going on in the world. Great! Oh, Mythical, you missed it. I just went on a rant. 
Am I ready for a wall of text? No, but send it anyways. Swine failed to steal anything? Rad bastard, what else are you good for if you can't steal stuff? According to Wikipedia, the following game series all have movies planned. Bendy and the Ink Machine, say psych right now. Crossfire, what is that? Death Standing. Nice Death shot. Stranding? Isn't that the apocalyptic mailman movie? Or game? That is, that, say psych right fucking now. Dead by Daylight, again. What storyline? Duke Nukem, okay, sure. Ghost of Tsushima. That could potentially be really cool if it was done in the traditional style of samurai movies. Uh, Gravity Rush. Is there a story in that game? Jack and, uh, Jack and Daxter. Sure, just cause. That's just a heist movie. Seen it, bored. Pac-Man. They tried to make a TV series and Epic failed multiple times on Pac-Man. Think fucking psych right now. Hobby Playtime, sure. Portal, that could potentially be really funny. That potentially could be very funny. I'll, I'll give you a chance. Rabbit, fuck no. Silent Hill, sure. Saints Row, heist movie again. Slime Rancher, is, be so fucking for real right now. Is Slime Rancher, does it really have a story? No, seriously, does that actually have a story other than the, hey, slime sentient, collect all? Good job. Space Channel 5, never heard of it and don't intend to. Space Invaders. Be so fucking for real right now. Seriously? Space Invaders, the pixel arcade game? Streets of Rage, sure. Talking Tom. The app that repeats you? Say fucking psych right now. Say psych right now. Yakuza's fine. I saw that at the end of the list. That's fine. Talking Tom? Is it is the entire movie to him just having an identity crisis because he's never allowed to have an, an actual intelligent thought for himself because he just parrots everybody else? I'm sorry, that actually enrages me. I'm actually mad about it. Would you like a gun? Yes. Where am I aiming it? Who am I shooting? I'm ready. All of those are live action. You know what? Maybe we deserve to have AI take over. Maybe we deserve it. Boys. <laughs> the industry I have chosen for my life is ruined. I... Uh, I was so happy to enter the, the film and TV world. And I had aspirations to make it to Hollywood, but now I don't think I want to. What the fuck, you guys? <sighs> okay, let's play the Silly Ghibli movie game. The gear guy usually has a lightning move, but he's not using it, which is really disappointing, actually. I might have to go back to the fairy grounds. Here we go. They've broken my spirit, JJR. We start talking about live action video game movies. I'm saying that we, as a generalized public of the late stage capitalism, we might deserve AI. Hey, infiltration, what's up? Oh, you know, just giving up on my, my hopes and dreams. Nothing time. new. Oh, you right. We don't need execs. No, absolutely not. Though I will say that I really did enjoy reading the article. Apparently they tried to make a video game completely out of AI and it sucked. Like horrendously awful. I don't know, just a little piece of my soul healed itself that day. Though honestly, going back to the list a little bit, I don't think I would mind a Yakuza movie. Specifically because that game actually has a storyline. From what I've heard. I haven't played the game yet. But from what I understand, 
Uh, yeah, that game has an actual honest-to-God storyline. I'll take it. Nope, come here. Come here, little boy, come here. Give me the, the airhead guy. Gimme. That is not. Zombie pirate captain! Oh, you delight me, game. My faith in humanity is once again restored. I shall not take over the world this day. The zombie pirate captain has restored something in my soul. Couldn't tell you what it was, though. Did you hear about the Wonka scam? I did. Uh, yeah, the guy who um, set it up claimed that he had no idea of what was going on or how that happened. And I think he got uh, a prison sentence, if I read correctly. <gasps> you haven't heard about the Wonka scam? Oh, boy. This guy used AI to make a bunch of posters for a totally immersive, amazing Willy Wonka experience. Like, join his factory. And it was the equivalent of fucking DashCon. It was like cardboard cutouts, people in half-assed cosplay, and a whole bunch of nothing. It's hilarious. <laughs> he claimed only have used AI to proofread the script. I've seen the art. Bullshit. Some AI art is really bad. Dude, the other day, um, I was on TikTok while I still can use it because they're gonna probably get rid of it, which is really sad, but whatever. Um, th somebody used AI to uh, create what most most women look per state, so like most Texas women look like this or whatever. And um, nothing. Yes, exactly. And um, the girl from Maine had lobster hands. Her hands were made of lobsters. And I just, AI has a long way to go. So like my, all of my jobs as a TV person, as a voice actress and as a streamer, so far my job is safe for now. But uh, I'm scared for the day that it actually can replace me. Hey Jimmy, give me a, a cheese with nothing. Nothing? I fucking love that guy's voice. It's so, it's so grounded and earthy. Mm. That's some good voices right there. Yes, yes, that's right. He did uh, He did publish 16 AI-generated books. Uh, the dumbass, he got caught. And I, I think that's why he had prison time, not because of the Wonka scale. Which is hilarious. Do not make me go all the way back to the fucking island. I'll do it. I won't be happy about it. Yeah, yeah, I, please, 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 please look up the Wonka scam that, uh, JJR put in. Uh, was it JJR? No, uh, n Ninja. But he put it in the Discord, please look at it, it's so funny. Literally, uh, the, um, oh, what is the, the, there was, like, a cryptid-type monster that got, like, really popular and had a bunch of memes about them. It was, that was from the Wonka scam. Oh, what is it called? It's like a non-entity or something. The unknown! Yes! The unknown! That's it. We can do this! Man. I mean, there are other companies out there that they're they're running scams. Like, um, driving home, there's a there's a billboard that I passed, and it's a interactive uh Haunt, not the haunted, the dark forest, Harry Potter walking experience. And apparently it's like a two mile hike that has like some Harry Potter decorations and that's it. And it's like $30. Dude, if I wanna go hiking, there's a nature trail right by my house. I'm just gonna go there. He lived in the walls and scared children, yeah. And isn't there like a Dead by Daylight character being made at, uh, from that? I feel like it, yes. I feel like yes. I don't remember. Come on! I don't know. Nobody be playing Dead by Daylight. I don't think the security breach has been solved yet. You enter the woods for three days and come one with nature. I kind of did. I mean, I was telling y'all last week that I went LARPing. That was an experience. It was too cold to, but I had fully intended to jump into the river to take a bath because there was no other option. Well, someone is making a horror movie off of him. See, I, I, I don't think I would mind.
mind too terribly much because like Dead by Daylight could easily be a sla like a slasher movie. But deep down, you know what I want? You know what I want actually? Like honest to goodness, do you know what I want? I want a Dead by Daylight Blair Witch movie. I want found footage, shitty quality, awful movie. It would be the funniest, memeiest thing they could do, and I want them to do it. Well, I mean, Death by Dealer has to be a horror movie. It's a horror game, you know? Somebody's making a movie on the unknown. Of course they are. Of course they are. I just, I just want a funny meme movie from Dead by Daylight. I don't think I'm asking for, asking for much here. You know? I don't think I'm asking for the moon here. Oh shoot, I didn't answer my boss. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired once again. Once again, I have to answer, I have to answer my boss. Oh, we're just doing B-roll to tomorrow? Shit. Hell yeah, we're only doing B-roll tomorrow. Right? We need another Blair Witch movie. That movie became so popular because, first of all, people thought it was real, which, heh. <laughs> Second of all, once people got over the initial hype about it, people realized it was shit and they liked to laugh at it. I want that kind of movie for Dead by Daylight. We're under attack. And for the uh, portal, Oops, did not mean to do that, sorry. And for the, the, uh, the portal movie, I need, nay, I demand that Ryan Reynolds puts his creative hand in it. I need Ryan Re Reynolds' level of comedy mixed with the sass of the original Portal writers. I need them to take the comedy seriously. You know it's gonna be edgy and like, oh, I'm in a dystopian factory where I have to do tests and whatever. Or it's gonna be a magical, like, find yourself chosen one destiny fucking journey. No, I don't want that. I want it to be a comedy. Jamie Lee Curtis, GLaDOS, yeah! Or, no, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I was supposed to be like Meryl Streep, but no. No, she's too wholesome. Wonder how its references are going to be when it was released. Well, given that it's Hollywood, it's going to be about four years behind. The chronic illness that is Hollywood. They try to make dated, like, they try to make references that are relevant when they're making the movie. Like, it's dead and gone by the time you release it. And don't you dare try to release movies faster. Your poor editors are already on time crunch enough. We did it! Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's a horror movie made out of a scary character. Why did they make a scary movie about uh, Winnie the F effing poo? I don't know. Because he was public domain. People just like to make horror shit out of anything, and they it's public domain. I mean, why they start making horror stuff about Mickey Mouse? Or Steamboat Willie. Fucking Mickey Mouse. Because he's public domain. He's free games. Huh? Did somebody do a thing? Hey, Christian, thank you for resubbing. Dude, 29 months. That's a long ass time. Thank you for your continued support. And maybe one day you'll speak in chat. Maybe someday. <laughs> Kitty wish for attention, well you better fucking give it to them. They deserve the world. Also, have you shared a picture of your kitty? I demand photos. I'm making a lot of demands tonight, but it's such is my right as the streamer with the big boom talk stick. Let me get a sequel to the poo movie. Stop. Stop. No, they're not. Hollywood was Hollywood was a mistake. The twisted childhood. The Twisted Childhood universe? Who let the Hollywood execs onto the fucking DeviantArt and Tumblr? What the fuck? Hollywood was a mistake. It was an honest to god mistake. Like, who else can you have in the Twisted Childhood? Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Come Mouse, or Steamboat Willie. Who else? Who could possibly else be in there? It better not be Paddington. They already have a bear. I don't care if it's B-list. The fact that it's happening is just awful. Who let this happen? Disney, take them down. You like to take people down these days. Take these people down. 
Please! We did it! Do you not see my favorite photo? I don't think I have. Send it again! I wish to see it. I wish to see the child. I'm opening Discord. I'm ready to receive the child picture. The cat, the cat, the cat, the cat. I wish to see the baby. I'm gonna sit here and drink on my Dr. Pepper until you show it. Any channel. I'm in my server. I'm ready to see it. <gasps> baby! He giving you the anime eyes. The tree! You know those eyes? Those one. That's a baby right there. That, that there? That right there? That's a baby. Speaking of baby. Fucking weird. So Ramona has a number of set spots that she likes to sit on. So usually those are the ones I check first. Um so I had a workout mat laid out because I was gonna do I was gonna try and do some like like so just a little bit of Pilates before stream, but then work ran late, so I didn't. So the, the workout mat's still laying there. Little Miss Chicken Loaf has decided that that's her new bed. Like a dumbass. Where am I even going? I need to go this way. What am I doing? Their plan movie lineup is Wayne the Pooh 2, Bambi the Reckoning, Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare. Con I mean, just read the original Peter Pan. That is more than enough content to make a fucking psychological horror film. Pinocchio Unstrung. Okay. Sure. And ending with Pooniverse Monsters Assemble. I Let's hate go. it. I hate it. <laughs> Hollywood was a mistake. Hollywood was a mistake. All to be done and released, what, this year? No, I don't want the dumb frog. Get out of here. That's not Kermit. He forgot to have his Kermit to live. By the end of next year, no! Oh no! See, if they were like stretched out, they could have been at least okay. Dumb, but mildly okay. Th those are gonna be trash. Those are gonna make the room with Tommy Wiseau look like math, like cinematic masterpieces. What the fuck? <laughs> captain Zombo! Okay, life is okay. Life is okay. We have the zombie captain. And Swine is on the floor bed. Again. Why are horror movies so cheap? Because the horrors of reality will never be outmatched by the horrors on screen. That didn't used to be the case. Life used to be mildly okay, so we got spooked by the, the fantasies that lived on the screen. Now we live in the year of our lord 2024 and are in late stage capitalism. Nothing could be worse than not being able to pay, afford rent and having to explain to your landlord what the hell happened. And also, everybody thinks they can do horror films. They think it's so fucking easy. It's not. I tried to make a horror short film in film school. Fucking difficult. Lighting costs don't exist. For sure, let's go with that. No, actually. Um, lighting for nighttime is actually harder than lighting for daytime. Significantly harder. You said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said that your your cat was a baby. Your cat is a baby with the anime eyes going to, you know? Uh, yeah, so lighting for daytime is pretty easy, usually because you have a natural light source. So you just kind of crank up the light, shape it how you like, and move on. With nighttime, you got to have it all the correct kind of shade of blue, make sure it's coming from the right angle, and it's not too strong so it's not obvious, but strong enough that you can see what's going on. I also shape it just so, and you know, we'll have a, like a million Kukuloruses so that it looks correct with like the trees and the sunlight. Ugh. They sent more! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! That is 
is a baby! That is a little monster! I'm stealing your cat. I'm gonna break into your house tonight and steal your cat. I'm just gonna throw that out there. That is my courtesy warning to you. She's mine? For now. Right? Yeah, fairy lands this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, I'm right. Why ain't she in the bag? Well, yeah, obviously they just bought her from the cat sore. Don't be insensitive. Cat the cat thief, it's me. I do the thievery. You might even just call me a cat burglar. A cat burglar, if you will. All right, I swear to goodness, I fought an airhead over here. Where is it? Where are they? You can have her when you rip her out of my cold, dead hands. That can be arranged. Let's go. Speaking of, look who decided to show up. You have to fight so many of them just to fucking get them. Get on my team. Get on my team. Get on my team. No, you're supposed to fall in love with me and my cool skills. Join my team. Bet? Alright. Alright. Don't say I didn't warn you. These hands are rated E for everybody. Let's go. You look like you have an airhead. Come here. I can smell you. It smells like fish! I hate fish! Die! So are my fangs. Whoa, you didn't ask for consent for- Oh, this guy's kind of funky. I wouldn't be mad if I got him. Well, listen, if I, if I realized that biting was in the rule- Within the boundaries of this fight, I would have equipped my bigger fangs. I'm, I'm teasing you, Mythical. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. I'm just being weird. I've had a day, all right? I had to film at a cemetery, and I had, like, the, the people who I was supposed to be, like, dodging, I was supposed to, I kept trying to get out of the way of the camera and the shot and stuff, and I had to keep walking over grave sites, which felt really icky. And then I had to interview this, like, be a part of an interview of this woman who, like, her mom was smothered in her sleep, and just, yeah. But then I got to bond with said old woman, it was great. Airhead! I found one! With two splishers. You have several questions? No time for that. We're fighting an airhead. Just kidding. We have more than enough time. What's your question? Well, go on. Don't be shy now. What's your question? The yeah, airhead is dead. Long live the king. First off, why? I am currently a part of a true crime documentary crew. Uh, we, uh... We're doing a documentary about a crime that happened back in 2016. Yep, I, one sentence is all it takes. It explains everything, don't it? Hey, you have an airhead. I smell it. Come here. Uh, yeah. Uh, real shitty thing he did. See, I told you. Come on. Uh, real shitty thing he did, but you know, he's dead now. So it's okay. No, literally, he's dead. You guys like rats? I'm a rat. I'm a little rat bastard. Why do you ask if we like rats, though? It's a very odd question to bring up at a time like this. What do you mean? Do not run away. Don't run away. I can outpace you. You got two of them? Little rats? What are their names? What are their names? It better not be Remy. It better not be Scabbards. I'm gonna call you a nerd if either your rats are named that. I'm gonna call you out about it. Come on, you guys! Raven and Blackfire. Alright, you get to live. For now. Fall in love with me! I'm hitting you so well with my sword! Fall in love with me! 
Hawk, I was named by your sister. I named Raven. Oh, I see. Very nice. Very nice. Guys, I don't know if catching a lightning guy is gonna work. None of them are falling in love with me like they're supposed to be. This is really unfortunate, actually. Come here! Fall in love with me! Ten chickens and a rooster? Fuck yeah! Let's go! I had, I had a couple chickens growing up. I liked freaking crack. They were twins, and they had a, they had a singular brain cell between them. They were great. And every time you try to pick them up and stop them from their tomfoolery, they peck at you. So you say frick frack. That's where they got their name. Have you seen the new stuff they're adding to Minecraft? I have not. Minecraft is constantly updating these days. It's hard to keep track, especially since I don't play Minecraft that often. And three dogs, let's go. Man, you have like an entire zoo at your place. Man, all I got is Ramona. And she's more than enough. She's such a fucking hassle. Watch I love this. her. I love her so much. I'm willing to die for the little dumb bitch, but like, she makes me so tired. New colors for wolves? Finally! What colors can they be? Can I get a white wolf? Can I be an edgy bitch who read Game of Thrones and took it a little too close to heart? We won! Cat? What? Oh wait, can you already get white wolves? Oh my god. <laughs> and I failed. I'm sorry. You know what? I think it's about time I resigned from my post. It's been fun, guys, but I, I, I think we all saw this coming. <laughs> this is typical cat behavior. If you didn't see this coming, I don't know what to tell you, dude. What if you fall in love with me? I swear to God, I'm losing my mind. I forgot the Minecraft wolves were white. I had to lose my job for that. No, what am I doing? No, okay, fine. This guy, fall in love with me. Fall in love with me, I swear to God. Oh my God. He's dead. What can I say? It's a gift. You know, this episode would have been a lot funnier on the day I started this game because it would have been sped day. But I guess that would have made too much sense. Wolves got armor! Hell yeah. My pu my puppers do deserve armor. Thank you, Minecraft, for finally recognizing. I mean, those pillagers weren't going to fight themselves. So, at least there's that. Give me a fucking air... At this point, I could just, like... I don't even... At this point, I don't even Let's need do the airhead. At this fucking point, I don't even need it. I'm gonna be so over leveled for this next fight. Nope. Nope, it's just dead. A warden can be taken down by 16 wolves in armor. How'd you learn that fact? Did you try? Did you do an experiment? It's okay, you can tell me. I won't judge much. What? What? Oh, YouTube. Should've known. I have so much respect for people who do Minecraft videos, because, like, there's so much creativity and know-how and skill that I just can never possess. I've been playing Minecraft for years now. I got nothing. I'm horrible at it. Still. Come on, you guys! The best house I can make in Minecraft is still made of basic building materials and a basic square cube shape. You're adding a new weapon called the maze! Let's go. 
More damage the further you fall with it if you land the right. Ooh, jump attack. Let's go. Sneak attack from above. You can finally say I have the high ground and actually have it mean something. Speaking of Minecraft, I've been hyper fixating on the MMO uh, RPG. Ooh, very nice. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons, if you ever played that. Uh, my friend is in that. I have a friend who's in that game. It's over, pillagers! I have the high ground! Yeah, for fucking real, though. No slacking, you lot. Slacking? Dude, you keep dying. Shut the fuck up. Of course you clipped that. Thank you. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. Fun fact, falling from a mace with over 60 blocks lets you one-shot anything in the game. Fuck, even the Elder Dragon? Even the Elder Dragon. Be so real right now. Can I one-shot the Elder Dragon? That would be fucking hilarious. Please say yes. Ender Dragon. Ender Dragon. Ender Dragon. Even the Ender Dragon! Let's fucking go! Finally. Yeah, yeah. Guys, again, I am tired. It is almost 10 p.m. I've been awake since 5 a.m. I'm sorry that my one brain cell is overloaded right now. Okay, literally, three of them. There are three of them. Fall in love with me, one of you. One of you, that's all I need, just one. Fall in love with me. 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 Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, I'm fucking losing it! I thought you said you have one brain cell, not three. I said it. Yeah, I have one brain cell. It is overloaded! It is overloaded. I have been playing Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and that requires a bunch of brain cells, and then I had work for like five billion hours. That's taking all my brain. I'm just tired. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, work is exhausting, but it's, I, I wouldn't, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. It's just, a, it's, it's frustrating how exhausted my mortal coil is by the end of a 12 hour day. Talking about murder. You know? It's just it's just rough out here in these streets. It's late late night goofy hours, what can you do? Yay. Alright, I'm gonna try one more and if it's not if I don't get the, 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 the lightning head, I'm just gonna say fuck it and go back. Alright, not that one clearly. What are you gonna do? Keep pressing forward despite the fact that I probably should like listen to my body and go to bed nah hey sable why are you playing team fortress 2 Here goes nothing. you can make a new video Here goes. i'm trying to catch them maybe if i use oliver instead of bobbin who can actually do damage hey are you impressed by how i'm bitch slapping you with my wand that's pretty impressive don't you think pretty pretty impressive don't you think maybe worth falling in love with me Maybe? No? You whore. Tito! How do you catch familiars? It's randomly generated. You fight them and they just randomly decide if they're in love with you or not. You're scared to stream? Been there. All I can say is don't be like me and choose a long form game as your first game. If I could go back and not have done that, I would do it. I lied, I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe I'll get the little catfish with the electric accordion. That'd be pretty cool. Fall in love with me. Fall in love with me, I'm swacking, I'm quacking, okay. I'm quacking you so good. Um, seriously though, like there are a million streamers out there. Do not hold yourself to the standard of somebody who's been doing it for a long time. Not to say that like I would be a standard of which to hold that to. My, my stream is just so full of scuff. Y'all have seen it. Um, 
Like, don't expect to have, like, a fancy overlay with, like, fancy transitions and everything figured out and the perfect mic. Like, don't. Just start. Just start. What game would you have streamed as your first stream? Yeah, probably Paper Mario. You got me in one. Paper Mario is like one of my, mo my most favorite games ever. Though I do, we can do this. I do and I don't regret Persona 5 being my first game. I love Persona 5. Never ever get that twisted. Um, maybe, maybe if I make the fight last longer. Maybe that's been my problem. Fall in love with me? Maybe? Fall in love with me? You bitch. Don't start when you're ready, start when you can. Yes, thank you, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, you gotta start somewhere. And heck, I started my stream with game taking up the full screen, no chat box, no uh, redeems, no nothing. And it was low quality, because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, the audio quality was awful. There's a reason why I will never have a best of moments for Persona. Not only because it's 130 hours of content to go through, but also because I don't want to revisit those streams. My audio quality, echoey, shitty. You can barely understand me over the game because I have my levels mixed up. Or not mixed up, not mixed correct. It doesn't matter. The audio quality sucks. And like, it was just a bad time. And I'm, am I embarrassed about it? A little bit, but also I just put the VODs out there because I don't want to delete them either because that would be denying where I started and how far I've come. Which also was a very wild thing to go through with my luck lock edit, which by the way, I'm still proud of that video. So please go watch it if you haven't. Um, in the fact that I was watching content that came from the era whenever I had that super dark background with the starry sky that did not move and was not purple and was not cute. It was just a stock footage of a night sky Let's do it. with the, the game over it. And that's it. That was my entire overlay. And the audio quality was so-so. And the game quality uh, with my, my streaming card was also so-so because I didn't optimize it like I was supposed to. And also, like, my commentary was awful. I was making horrible commentary. A lot of it was cut. So the funny bits is gonna be mostly my later streams because I figured out my my role. I figured out my my uh, process with all of this. It is nice to keep up your, yeah, it is really nice to keep your previous work. Is it cringe? Does it make you wanna die inside? Yes. But it also shows you where you've come from and how far you've come. So like, do the best you can in the moment and grow from there. The worst thing you can do is never start, and the second worst thing you can do is start and never grow. So just do it, you know? Also, hi Lucario. Thanks for the comments on my video. That, that it, Your comment was really good. I mean, so was Sables and JJRs, but like, Lucario, your, your comment made me smile really hard. So there's that. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't be self-conscious when starting something new. Nobody is an expert at something in the moment you start. And those people that are apparently amazing at the start are usually fictional or liars. And we don't believe in either of those things. Uh, I could do Breath of the Wild for the first stream because Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games. Do it! Honestly, best advice I can give is choose a game that you know super well or a game that you really love because your passion for the, the game shines through. It shines through whenever you can, you can tell whenever a gamer or a streamer actually enjoys what they're doing. You can tell. I could do a deathless run. Oh, that'd be really tricky, but heck yeah, dad. Dad, wow. Who? I was gonna say dude and do it. And I ended up saying dad. Good job, Cat. Thanks, Cat. I'm trying sure my best. Master mode. Oof. Now you're being brave. Or stupid. Let's go with brave. Necro Dancer. Let's go. That's such a good game. Though I, I love Necro Dancer. I do. I just don't think that's a good streamable game for me because I like to walk and talk while I game. You know. And Necrodancer is a kind of game that I feel like I put my full attention on. Cool. I don't have enough money. Bullshit.
bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody stop, everybody stop. Not you guys, uh, the, 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 the people on the screen. No, okay, you already have the best one. I just wanted to make sure. But also, going back to the, oh, I don't know if I should start streaming. First of all, yes, you should. Second of all, do you know how many kids out there um, who are, like, using their Xbox mic and just sh shouting obscenities are out there streaming? They have no business. Where is your mother? It doesn't matter. They believe in themselves enough to do it. So why can't you? I started, okay, literally, literally, I'm actually a little embarrassed about this, but I also just, I gotta talk about it because, like, it's where I came from. Whenever I started streaming, and I, I mentioned this in passing, um, whenever I started streaming, I was sitting on my couch, uh, with no sound dampening at all, should've, didn't, um, with a, um, a blue yeti mic a usb blue yeti mic um sitting in my lap in my lap not in an arm balancing on my abdomen so i was constantly in like a semi-fetal position so that the mic could be near my mouth and also balanced so i couldn't move every time i had to go drink water i had to pick up my microphone and pick up my water bottle from the ground because I did not have a side table. Such an awful idea, but I did that for two years. Don't do that. First of all, don't do that. Do not, cannot, not recommend that enough. 132, 140, there we go. Um, but you know what? I made it work. I got a lot of my followers do, doing that setup. Don't recommend it. But if I can do that, you can do anything. Howdy, Ken. Hello! Hello, friend! Hello, hello! How you been? I feel like it's been forever, dude. How you been? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm short. I'm not physically short. I'm just short on money. Alright, well, that'll help. Things are so expensive in this game. It's absurd. I have 11 of these. I do not need 11 of these. There we go. Let's get some armor. Maybe maybe that'll help swine from dying. A concept, I'm sure. Okay, let's go sell some more of those drops. Because I have a bunch of them. It's obscene how many I have of these. Because you're supposed to be catching more minions? I'm not doing that. I should be. I'm not. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now. Just one of these. To give to him. I'm sure this is going to make a world of difference. It's get, like, this next battle is going to be so easy. Just watch. I'm going to fight him again. And it's going to be so gosh dang easy. Oh, wait. No, you don't have it. Never mind. I have my Yeti at my desk next to my computer. See? Exactly! Much better setup than I had. Y'all have no excuse. Other than, like, a bad computer or something. Sour Sunday. Why the fuck would I want that? I want me drawing because I can do that. Yeah! Do it! Do you know how popular art streams are? Do it! And now for a reference cat won't get. Is it because it's from Spongebob? Fuck off. See, I understand that one because that meme is overused. It's from the fish guy. He 
He's lying in bed because he, he has glass bones and whatever. Fuck off. Anyways, hello fellow guards. Moving on. Y'all are coming after me all the gosh dang time. What did I do to y'all? I'm feeling attacked. I'm feeling really attacked right now, guys. I feel really attacked, and I don't know what I did wrong. Chocolate? No, I did not say chocolate. I said chocolate earlier when you asked me about what ice cream I was eating, but that was, like, hours ago. You're gonna change your name? Oh, my... How come? Mythical Drawer is really cute. You Minecraft fools in, in Discord? Bet! Once I'm in the next area, you know for a fact I'm gonna go see it. I wanna see the little wolf boys. So, um, in middle school, everybody, everybody has a hyperfixation. Everybody. And that's okay. You are allowed to be weird. That's what middle school is for, actually. Um, I did that wrong. Um, you know, you might be a horse girl, you might be like a vampire girly, you know, like whatever. Stuff happens. Okay. Uh, right? Yeah. Um, I was a wolf girl. In middle school, straight up, I was a wolf girl. And I will not explain or apologize. Uh, so having new Minecraft wolves, fuck, yeah. Okay, while we're waiting for this slow asshole to go, let's open up Discord. Wolves, so many options. Eee! Ah! Oh, the black wolves look sick. I want the black wolves. Chocolate? That is a reference I understand because it's also overused. I'm just choosing to ignore it because fuck you. You were the wolf kid? I was. Is that really that surprising? Can't you bet you can't guess what you, I you were? Well, you were either the TF2 kid or the bird kid, and I don't know which is worse. No offense. <laughs> You got grasshoppers? Oh, that's adorable! I mean, all of us were Pokemon kids. That's not like that's not like a weird stereotype. Like a lot of kids liked Pokemon. I don't I don't really think that that qualifies as an actual care like category. You didn't play TF2 till like 2013. Yeah, that's fair. I'm still looking at the wolves. I'm, st I'm still looking at the wolves. I love them. All right, guys. We're fully healed and multiple lovers. Le level lovers? Levels higher. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Murder! See, I've, I've just done the same amount of damage as last time. In two seconds. I'm feeling good about our chances. Uh, I was the first and only kid in my high school to have a complete national vex. Damn, dude. Tell me you were a nerd without telling me you were a nerd. Jeez. Golden drop! Golden drop! Golden drop! Golden drop! Gimme! Burning hearts! I have heartburn and I'm going to make it your fucking problem. Uh, like you Pokemon, uh, to make, it made you a bullying target number one? Man, the kid, the kids in your school fucking sucked. Also, hi Jerry with me, everyone. When in doubt, grind it out, yeah. Well, kind of like what I said at the beginning of the stream, I had hoped to get some of the the side quests done. Yeah, I know, I know, Mr. Drippy, I know. Uh, I tried to get a bunch of the side quests done, and then I remembered. Oh, I'm shipwrecked. I literally can't leave the island without 
continuing the story without you guys. So I had to run around the island until I literally grinding became a chore. So I wasn't gonna do that. Like, there's only so much grinding I can do while on Voltage's stream, you know? Love the guy, but like, I was getting bored. There's only like 300 people in your school? Damn, dude, that's a small middle school. I'm from the middle of nowhere, my high school, my middle school was bigger than that. See, I was bullied in middle school because, uh, it, oh my gosh. Now's your chance! Yeah. Oh, that attack, go for him! Uh, in middle school, so in elementary school, I had been running with the, um, literally running, <laughs> but hanging out with the, um, the sports kids. I was on, like, every sports team. Where'd the golden drop go? Oh, no, it didn't disappear, did it? Fuck. Um. Ooh, volcano! Oh, no! Big boy got it! So I was with the, the athletics kids, because I was, like, on, in every sports team known to man. But then in middle school was the years that I decided that sports was not my end goal. It was not where I was wanting to be. So I started trying to make a change and like more embrace my nerdy side and my musical side and my creative side. Because that's when I joined band and started getting interested in drumline and stuff like that. Well, the sports kids apparently took a lot of those stereotypical movies a little too seriously. They did not take kindly to the fact that I wanted to be creative instead of a sports thing. I was literally Cho uh, Troy Bolton from fucking High School Musical. Except for unlike High School Musical, I didn't get a happy ending. I didn't get the, well, you can do both. No, I was told I had to choose. And the fact that I chose band didn't go so well. Because, uh, of course, the athletic kids, like in Texas, imagine the concept, were the popular ones. So I was, like, almost immediately ostracized for choosing band over fucking soccer. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not sorry. Really? Is that really what we're gonna do? Oh, a jamming and cannon. Oh, fuck. I've never seen this before. Well, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Hi, Esther. I'm gonna eat a sandwich in front of you. Don't mind me. But anyways, I, I, I digress. I'm gonna, uh, thank you for coming to my TED trauma talk. Right? Sure. Spells? Sure. Let's do some frostbite. Maybe we can freeze over its joints and it can topple over dead. One can only hope. 20 people in your graduating class, good lord. I'm from the middle of nowhere. My graduating class was 850 people. A heat-seeking snout missile? Yeah, um, he's blowing a big old honky at me. Gross. Like, disgusting. Come at me, come at me, bro. Uh, my middle school was full of kids wanting to grow up fast, so anything resembling a childish interest was ground out. Jesus. Tell me that your parents don't love me without saying it. Alright, back up. Go aim shit, Gary. Go aim shit. Aim for me, I dare you. <laughs> She's like, no. The girl gotta go. And do wow, that did next to no damage. Oh, I love this move. I forgot I had this one. Pony, pony! Did it. Good, good, good job, Gary. Sexist tank, for real though. It keeps aiming for Bobbin and Esther. That didn't feel right. Damn, the class was fun in my middle school if I, I played the clarinet. Oh, nice! See, I always like clarinet people. Like, they were super chill, usually. Usually super chill. Unlike the flutists. The flutists were so, so mean. They thought they were the hottest shit on the class. When in fact, that was the trumpet players. Those guys were awesome in my middle school. My high school had a fight break out once a week, had a ranch on the ground. Just, yeah, that, that just sounds like a high school in America, dude. Uh, so my high school was two stories, and we regularly ha regularly had kids 
who would jump off the second story balcony and land in like the most populated hallway. So people were bodying each other for no gosh dang reason and then fights would break out about it. There's a reason my school had like 10 different police officers at one time. Hey, you know what? Let's just all out attack. Why not? Let's just kill this guy. Hey guys, I think we should kill this guy. We wanted violin, but they didn't have any. What do you mean they didn't have any? How do you run out of violins? See, I chose percussion. I shouldn't have. I did not have the confidence in middle school to play percussion, but I decided I wanted to be like my oldest sister. Man, I'm really glad that we're all trauma bonding and du trauma dumping in chat while I fight a sexist tank. Oh, I'm good. There it is. All right, Esther. Leave it to me. Oh, now you heal us. Fuck you, Mr. Drippy. Jokes on them, I now have a violin. I don't know how to play it, but I have it. Heck yeah, you do. All right, there we go. Do you have the revive? You do not. All right, we're gonna have to finish this fight with this guy. Oh wait, what am I doing? Provisions. Don't hit me, I'm just a kid. Please don't hit me, I'm just a kid. All right, I'm gonna run away. Run away! After LARP, that was the first movie I went to go watch. Oh wait, no, why did I do that? It just felt appropriate after spending a whole weekend in the Arthurian uh, mythos. It just felt right to watch the Holy Grail, you know? Does that do anything? I'm just gonna spam this, why not? Oh, and, okay, we are the last one standing. And I didn't get to defend. Fuck! It's probably fine, right? Girls are tough. Joke about fashion? See, girls built different. Okay, he has a sliver of health. We can totally do this. All right, wait for our penguin thing. Good. Thunderspark! Kill him! Let's go! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you very, very much! Cause I hate what you do and I hate your whole screw. Esther, kick it! I did. Sexist loses once again! Nobody tell her about Roe v. Wade, though. Flip it, Hackmon. I can't take more of this. I don't think we have much of a choice. Listen! Damn it, the cosmos of her is fighting. They'll be here any minute. You're right, I can hear voices. Come on, we have to run. Don't worry about me, Ollie boy. First time of trouble, I'll turn into a carelessly mislaid helmet, isn't it? Sure. Hey, guys, we should probably run. The guards are coming soon. We should probably run, huh? I think we should have a picnic right here. What a nice picnic we had. She was finally worth something. Yeah. You know what, Esther? You are no longer the Donald Duck of the group. That title goes directly to Rat Bastard. What a perfect time to take a break, yo. Sure. No, it's a perfect time for an animated segment. Perfect hiding spot, guys. Oh, good, with a swipe cut, sure. Oh, it's just Howl. It's just Howl. Someone come. Must hurry. Correct. I am Prince Markatan. Markatan. <laughs> and who might you be? Well, you know, a bunch of anime here. protagonists. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, oh. No! <gasps> you mustn't go! No! 
fool! Get away! Do not look at me! Get no. out of here, I say! You mustn't look at me! But I wish to look at you! You're actually kind of cute! In your own pathetic little way. Wow. So the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness. This seems not going to make sense in a little bit. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, oh, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the Great Sage's help. Huh? Great Sage? Oh yeah, that's me. me. Yes, of course we do. You were the one of the Great Sages who protected this world, weren't you? Despite the fact that I'm you're like sorry 12. sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the Great Sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? The Great Sage's powers? <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a great sage? Me, of all people. Me, of all people, a I prince. No gift what the fuck magic. are you talking about, dude? Huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone. Oh. Go! There's he really is how He's all broody. Lad, I reckon. Do you think... No doubt. He's broken hearted. But which piece of his heart is missing? What that boy's lost is his belief, like. Sure as eggs is eggs. His belief? That's right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. He lost and his he belief in himself. <laughs> That's a laugh. He's just a sniveling little wimp. Oh, Come oh, on. Red Bastard think he's Let's a little wimp. Write that down. That's important. That'll be on the right. test later. Ugh. He's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. O okay, bye. Oh, no, he's atheist. I know that man. But from where? <gasps> the prince knows the Red Bastard Donald? What could that mean? It's a real mystery. All right, guys, the next uh, chain of events are really closely tied together. I think this is a good spot to call it a night. I know that I was, um, is the rat bastard a sage? I don't know. Is he? Uh, anyways, I know I had to start an hour late, but uh, I still need to go to bed. I am very sleepy. I have been awake for 18 hours now. Your trash goblin, that's me. Needs the slip of slip. I need to go hold my baby girl, Ramona, despite the fact that she's a dumb little whore. So, we're gonna end it here. Um, I think... Oh, Trav is live! Let's go! We're gonna raid Trav, my good friend Trav! Let's go check on Trav. Uh, what should the raid message be? What should the piggy pun? Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Let's see. I feel like we can do better. I feel like we can do better. Hmm. Maybe we can't. Love me! Yes! Thank you, Mythical! Yes! Perfect! Perfect. Okay. No, I like the love me. It sounds so desperate and like a cry for help. It's perfect to raid somebody with. All right, so raid, drag in, drop it. All right, looks like he is playing like a dragon in Shin. Oh, nice. I have a bunch of friends that were in that. That's probably why he's also playing it. So as always at the end of stream, do not forget to straighten your backs, unclench your jaws and drink some heckin' water. I can hear your bones clanking. It's making me scared. Thank you to everybody who joined me, and I will see you next week. Should be on time next week. So, see you later. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>